Good morning. Today we are going to discuss one of the exciting assignment from class 10th and the topic heredity. Let us discuss one by one topic. The first question it is what are variations? So what are variations here? Differences between the closely related species. So that will be different from the one organism to other organisms. So the organisms which shows that a differences is called as here variations. For example, what are the, uh, like what are the variations between you and your friend? Like height or skin color or eye color. As you can take any other example, ear lobes attached like that way. Okay. So let us write the definition. Differences between. Closely related organisms is called as variations. Okay. So let us go for the top for next question. So the next question is like uh, name two human traits which show variations. So there are number of uh, traits we can take. So variations, so if you take that height, okay. So height in the human, especially height, there are two characters will be there, tall and dwarf, where we can take the uh, ear lobes, type of ear lobes, type of ear lobes. So, some people they are having the free ear lobes which are not uh, like curved itself and curved free, okay. So, free ear lobes and attached, attached. Some people are having the attached ear lobes to this uh, uh, jaw, okay. So, let us go for the top. For next question is about uh, some subtle differences as well as that we most often overlook. So, there are some differences are there. So, all the differences uh, which are not apparently, we, can, we cannot see that. All It is not like variations are not always apparent differences. So, let us write the answer. So, variations are Variations not always apparent differences. So, there are some subtle differences that may we often overlook, okay. So, there are some subtle differences we often overlook okay so some subtle differences here all together accumulate and it will form that apparent differences okay so, subtle differences accumulate together and form apparent differences. So, this is what about some some things are there like some differences are there which are which are not uh, uh, like uh, some sometimes we may not uh, identify that changes. So, that we may often overlook and these all uh, sub uh, subtle differences which we which will be all accumulate together and forms that apparent differences in the organisms. Let us go for the top for next question. 
So the next question here is a table they have given observe some of your friends and note down the characters in the following table fill in your as well as see here so name of your friends as you can take any other examples and the characters they have given traits okay so the color of the skin ear lobes free or attached marking on the inner side of the tongue whereas the length of forehead color of eyes and other features any other features if it is there then we can write so vijay sandeep myself and manu raju we can take that a color of a skin here fair black brown black we can take that a fair okay so ear lobes attached or free so we can go for that of free attached free attached and free okay marking of inner side thumb it will be different like uh, some people are having that a round or else a conical okay so we can take that conical round conical round round okay length of forehead some people are having that a uh, broad forehead okay and some people are narrow forehead okay some people are having that broad and narrow forehead narrow broad narrow okay color of eyes cornea color it is different okay iris color we can consider okay black brown black brown some are having that a bluish eyes also golden brown okay any other features like uh, hair color or else uh, we can take that uh, other examples of this uh, we can write down that uh, hair color or else uh, nature of the hair straight hair i'm writing only one here curly hair straight straight hair curly and curly okay so this is what about the table as we have compared with the top all the with the, our friends all the traits that's all for this assignment thank you